Hi guys, my name is Crystal Devon Mapes, and I'm the CEO of Devon Cosmetics and Devon's Fashion Jewelry. And I'm here to take you on a journey with me because I'm having a hysterectomy tomorrow. Now, um, it was a lot I had to do building up to getting the hysterectomy, a lot of clearances and different things I had to go through. I had to see a pulmonologist. Um, I've been seeing a hematologist. Um, so it's a lot of appointments, a lot of appointments leading up to this. But I wanted to share with you guys today some of the things that I've packed um, and some of the essential things that I think I'm gonna need um, for after for post care when I get home. So take a look. Um, so these are some of the things from the videos that I've watched to um, basically get you into a uh, better groove at home, some things that may help you. Um, so I'm gonna start off with my package. In my package I have Gas X because I was told that you get very gassy and um, you, you know that increases your stomach pain. So I do have Gas X. Um, I also have stool softeners. Just a regular old stool softener. I have my extra asthma pump that I have on the side. Um, some sanitizer wipes. Some hot teas. I have a few different kind of hot teas. I'm a tea lover, so I have some lemon, ginger, ginger, some blueberry. I also have my um, Zofran that my doctor prescribed for after surgery and when I get home. I have some Miralax because I heard constipation is a really big thing from all the pain meds. I also have a couple of packs of saltine crackers to help with nausea as well. Um, I also have my prescription for heartburn because I do suffer with um, gastritis. So I have to make sure I take care of that. And I have it in my son's little toy tub. So things like that. I also have on hand my nebulizer, some nebulizer treatment, albuterol. And um, these are some of the things that supposedly is gonna help me along the way of recovery at home to make things easier. So I have those things on hand. Then in my other box, <laughs> I have hand sanitizers. I have a thermometer, a ear thermometer, right? I also have my little oxygen, which I've had for a very long time. This, my book, because I do have asthma. My children have asthma. So anytime anybody's getting sick or, you know, wheezy, I do like to check their oxygen. Um, my blood pressure cup, that's important as well. Then I have a heating pad that I'll wrap into maybe like a pillowcase. I have tons of gloves. I have weenie pads that I use for my dog. But I'm gonna put them in the bed because I don't know about any, uh, you know, bleeding or oozing or like, and I don't want to mess up my sheets. So that I do have a box of tissues. Can never go wrong with a box of tissues. You always need tissues, right? And then I also have like some big pads. I'm not sure about the bleeding afterwards or you know what's gonna take place down there afterwards. But I do know I'm having a total hysterectomy. Um, so I go in tomorrow. I packed my bag. Let's see. We have my bag is packed. Um, and in my bag, I have some. I'll show you. So I was told by my doctor because I'm high risk for some other things. Um, I'll be in there for between two to three days. So I'm bringing books, some books that I'm in the process of reading, and then my book, 
that I uh, like to write in my laptop um my makeup bag now guys I know this sounds crazy but I'm you know I may not be that bad off I may just want to dust my face with something a little bit of something I don't know some Vaseline some lotion and then I do have like some big, like a mumu, a t-shirt, a big shirt. Now I know I'll be like in a hospital gown, but like when my kids come and uh, you know, we may take some pictures. I'm going to be vlogging to keep you guys um, up to date. I'm going to take you along the journey. I have been doing a lot of praying. I'm so nervous. I haven't had this type of a surgery. Um, I did have a major surgery when I was like 15. But like I'm 42 now and I haven't had any major surgeries. So um, I know everything's going to be all right because I'm in God's hands. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to bring my little tripod vloggy thing so that I can vlog the whole entire process and take you along. One thing that I noticed is when I was doing my research on YouTube and just like... Um, googling and different things everything seems so old so i don't know if people are vlogging their hysterectomies or if people are not having hysterectomies but like everything i've seen has been like old videos so i wanted to just give you like a little up-to-date video on what i have prepared for home i know in the hospital they'll be taking care of me um but yeah so i have my other little moon moon and then like in my dresser drawers, I have like my night table here. I cleaned that out. And then I have like just the stuff I'll be wearing for the first week or so in this drawer, towels, medication that I may need. So it's all in like my night table. So my when my sisters or you know, whoever's gonna be taking care of me, my kids, whatever, are taking care of me, um, they're not having to go through all my dresser drawers to find different things. I have everything is literally laid out for them in the house. Um, yeah. So the, what I'm missing and what I will be getting is cough drops because I, I um, know that your throat can get a little bothered. So I'm going to have cough drops, maybe some hard candy. Um, and I think that's about it for now. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy um, learning as, as I will be. You know, I hope you uh, enjoy learning and watching my journey of going in to get a hysterectomy and then recovery from a hysterectomy. So, again, I'm Crystal Devon, CEO of Devon Cosmetics and Devon's Fashion Jewelry and Accessories. I want to welcome you to my channel and I hope you enjoy. Like and follow and I'll see you soon.